We're Liz and Dennis, full-time travelers on the road trip of a lifetime, exploring North America in our renovated Class C RV. After spending 11 months of the past year RVing Mexico, we're back in the USA, sharing our adventures as we RV Michigan with our friends Greg and Karen. This week, we finally make it to Michigan's Upper Peninsula, stopping to explore the iconic Mackinac Island. The watercolor here never ceases to amaze me. We made it to Mackinac Island, the number one most recommended place for us to visit from everyone when we said we were coming to RV Michigan. And I will tell you what, just after a few minutes of being here, I get it. It is so charming, absolutely beautiful. All of the old historic homes right over the lake with the manicured lawns and beautiful different flowers and gorgeous hotels, the Adirondack chairs on the big lawns to overlook the lake. I definitely get it, I do. Now, because there's no motorized vehicles allowed on the island, you have two choices for exploring. You can either rent a bike or you can take a horse and carriage ride. We opted to rent a bike. We're paying about $10 per hour for our bike. Normally, you'd be able to do an eight and a half mile loop around the island on the bikes. But unfortunately, today when we're visiting, half of the road is closed. So we're not gonna be able to show you all of the cool spots to enjoy along the way when you're coming here. Hopefully you'll have much more to explore than we are, but I still think it's gonna be an absolutely lovely day. It's not gonna be a cheap day. Getting here is expensive. I think we paid $63 just to get the ferry to come over here for the two of us, but it will be a lovely day. The watercolor here never ceases to amaze me. It is crystal clear, it's like the Caribbean. Who knew? Arch is super cool. Lake Huron is just next level with its colors. It is insane. I had no idea to expect colors like this from the Great Lakes, but be prepared for crowds. There's so many people everywhere. The first European settlement on Mackinac Island dates back to the late 1600s. Over the centuries, the island played an important role in fishing, fur trade, and military protection during the Revolutionary War and the War of 1812. Today, less than 600 people live here year-round, but many people still come to stay for summer in some of the island's gorgeous Victorian mansions, which date back to the 1800s. So if you're looking for the history side of Mackinac Island, I definitely suggest taking a horse and carriage ride. The tours include kind of like a history as you do one of the routes around part of the island. Most of Mackinac's nearly 1 million annual visitors will bike past beautiful scenes of horse-drawn carriages and fuzz shops, completely unaware of the island's deep connection with Native American history and culture. But if you look closely along the eight mile bike path circling Mackinac Island, you'll find the Native American Cultural History Trail. The six interpretive panels illustrate Anishinaabek history with the island spanning back centuries and up to this very day. 
For the Anishinaabek, the island is more than just a military fort or trading outpost, and has been a ceremonial gathering place for centuries. The original name of Mackinac Island is Michili Mackinac, meaning Great Turtle in the Anishinaabek language, and is believed to be the origin of the world as well as a sacred burial ground of ancient ancestors. Its central location with the Great Lakes has made contests for the island high. Various tribes, the French, British, and Americans have all fought for control in pivotal wars throughout modern history. The present-day Anishinaabek generation still holds their powerful connection to Michili Mackinac, despite the attempts of removal from their homelands and forced assimilation in boarding schools designed to erase their culture. Oh, that bike riding, I'll tell you what, it works up an appetite. We were ravenous, and so we ended up grabbing a very late lunch, early dinner at Kingston Kitchen at the Village Inn. It is American Jamaican food. There's actually a lot of Jamaicans that come here and work here seasonally. So if you're looking for something outside of just the standard American fare, which it seems like a lot of the restaurants here serve, there's lots of burgers and fries on the menu. Uh, this is kind of like a little hidden gem off the beaten path. Now we're gonna walk through the downtown and see what all the shops are about. Yeah. There's a lot of people here. We heard this was a very touristy destination. Of course, it's summer, peak season beautiful day. You couldn't ask for a better day. But there's a lot of people here. The horse stench is... Is real. So strong. The smell is a little uh, noticeable. Right now it smells good because we just walked past the fudge shop. There's so many fudge shops here. If you're a fudge fan, you're in for a treat. Oh Almost six million dollars for this home built in 1888. This is gorgeous Victorian. It's really cool looking inside. 8,000 square feet. Anyone got six mil? Nah, I don't think I would want to live here. After a long day on the island, I think we're both ready to I go am. home. I'm done. Spent. So we spent about eight hours here, and honestly, it should have been broken up over two days. If you have a chance to stay overnight at a hotel, I highly recommend it just so that you're not trying to do so much in one day. Yeah, plan ahead, book ahead. <laughs> so I'll pick you up tomorrow. Yeah. It's hard to believe it, but it is our last day with Karen and Greg. I think we were with them all in all for about three and a half weeks and time has just flown by. I'm excited that they're getting to go back to Canada see their family who they haven't been able to see in a very long time. I know they're excited as well, but we're definitely gonna miss them. We will have a bonus video coming out this Friday for you, which gives you a full tour of their van and kind of compares our Class C to their van. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. I think it'll be a nice little bonus video for you guys that are curious to see what it's like in their van. But it's also my birthday, woohoo! We're just kind of chilling around, had a very relaxing self-care morning, and now we're gonna have some fun on Craig's one wheel. So if I lean forward, look. Okay. Oh, good stop. Let's do this. One wheel, if you want to sponsor a video, I'm happy to get good at it with you. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Need some more practice. On. Woo, God. <laughs> and I'm off. Whoa. Oh my God. This is a wild feeling, okay. This is hard! <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. There you go. Turning. Ooh, I turned no, you it. You have to turn it forward. 
That's <laughs> Yeah! <laughs>